A Four Corners investigation has found a pattern of bullying, harassment and sexism at the Seven Network, which has seen a string of high-level resignations and sackings. It's been one of the worst years in living memory for Australian commercial television. Did you just blow Bruce and Channel 7 up? How did you feel about the generosity extended to Bruce Lehrman by Channel 7? Mortified, angry and embarrassed. But it goes much deeper. A Four Corners investigation has found the dysfunction at Channel 7 is far more insidious and widespread. Two of the people we spoke to were so disturbed by what they witnessed, they spoke out despite being still on the Seven payroll. It is one of the most degrading, soul-crushing places you can work in. Be first to know every day. Look, everyone knows that TV's all smoke and mirrors. We all put on a show. But underneath the surface, it can be very dark. Channel 7 likes to portray itself as a family. It's a very dysfunctional family. We've uncovered multiple cases of discrimination, harassment and bullying. There are currently three legal complaints with Seven brought by staff for discrimination in the Sydney News Division alone. This is an industry that Me Too forgot. I wouldn't just call it the second chance club, I'd call it the third, fourth and fifth chance club. Investigative journalist Louise Milligan and her team spoke to more than 200 people for that story. She gave us more insight into tonight's episode. They've told us that the culture is a real problem, that it's toxic, that they've been subjected to harassment and bullying and very poor working conditions, very low pay. We've spoken to multiple people who have either attempted suicide or have been very suicidal. Um, we've spoken to women who haven't been able to work because of what they say is their treatment there, people who have been hospitalised. Um, and they really, really want change. They talk about there's this gulf between the way <clears throat> that senior managers and, and some people who are accused of bullying are protected and given second chances. One, one of the people we interviewed, a man describes it as the second chance club. Uh, and then on the other hand, there's what happens to people who speak out and for people who take legal action against them because of their treatment, um, typically this ended, ends up in um, non-disclosure agreements. And mm. so our program is called Don't Speak because there is this real fear, this real silence about what is happening because of the perceived power of the network. Louise, can you tell us about some or one of the stories you heard there? Well, I mean, one of the most extraordinary examples is the text messages that we've uncovered from former Spotlight boss Mark Llewellyn to producer Taylor Auerbach. Now, he's talking about um, Taylor Auerbach, who is Jewish. Uh, he's wearing a striped shirt. And in one of the text messages, he, he says, um, words the effect of why is he wearing the Holocaust gym jams mm. and then he follows up with the words and Frankenstein. Um, this text message was described in the federal court by Taylor Auerbach's lawyer as anti-Semitic. It wasn't actually heard in the federal court but referred to. But then there are others where he refers to a character in a play that he's writing. He keeps talking about this character bashing Taylor Auerbach's head in, head the F in with a cricket bat or with an iPhone or caving his head in. Like this is repeated references. Now bearing in mind, this is a boss talking to his subordinate. Um, and Channel 7 crucially knew about these text messages eight months before Mr Llewellyn resigned following the revelations in the Bruce Lehrman defamation uh, proceeding in the federal court about Spotlight. Louise, you mentioned a moment ago the, the non-disclosure agreements. Do you know the prevalence of these and what effect they have when complaints or, or legal claims are made? 
Look, it's hard to quantify how many there are, but we routinely, we'd heard that people had left on, um, you know, with complaints or on bad terms, you know, they had alleged, for instance, sexual harassment or so on. And when we contacted these people, they said, I can't talk to you. Mm. Um, and it was clear that, you know, it, they had signed non-disclosure agreements. That, has what, that was what had happened. But, you know, this includes in examples where, for instance, women have been dismissed on maternity leave. Mm. Um, there is a real, real uh, prevalence of non-disclosure agreements at this network. Now, this is a media company. You know, this is... This is in the case of Spotlight, for instance, and um, I understand Taylor Arbach, I've never spoken to him, but I understand he has signed a non-disclosure agreement. Um, they're supposed to be getting to the bottom of things, getting to the truth of things. But when it comes to their staff complaining about things that they don't like, they sign them up to silencing clauses. And you can catch Four Corners tonight on ABC TV at 8.30pm or anytime on ABC iView.